Welcome to the video guys. Today we're going to be restoring and detailing this disgusting 1998 Honda Accord. Wow, I can't believe we brought some kind of sparkle back. All right, so this is gonna have to get sanded 100%. So I don't know about you guys, but that looks a whole lot worse than that. Those scratches are not great either. All right, guys, now that we know this clear coat needs to be sanded, let's get to it. Because there's no clear coat, wiping off this compound was incredibly tough. I'm gonna throw on a new pad and use some fine cut cleaner and then show car glaze to see how the trunk cleans up.
2000 grit after sanding it with 1500 just to see if this scratch would have a chance to come out. But as you can see, even after hitting it with the buffer, it left these scratches. So I'm gonna come through with the 3000 and see if that'll come out. For the most part, those micro scratches are gone. Hey. This is coming out a lot shinier than before. Let's hit it with that show car glaze. looking a whole lot better look at the old paint on the hood compared to the new fresh vibrant fender there's not a whole lot you can do about this kind of stuff i mean truthfully it would just need to be repainted and later on in the video we'll spray the trunk with some clear coat and see how that compares to just buffing alone but while we're in the garage we're gonna finish up the other side and then get to some maintenance it looks like this is one of the worst panels but I can still get this clear coat mostly cleaned up. I'm gonna hit it with a lower grit. So to get started on this hood, I'm taping off a little section to see how the paint's going to react. I'm also taping the windshield washer sprayers so they don't end up white from the wax. Let's investigate some of these fluid levels while we're still on flat ground in the garage. And it's a good thing I checked this oil because it's about a quart low. What do we got here? A little power steering leak. The coolant level is actually looking a little bit low. So we're gonna go ahead and top that off. Now that we addressed the fluid issues, let's go ahead and fix this mirror. It seems like every car in this price range has a missing mirror, but hey, I got an easy remedy for it. It's just a little bit of JB Weld.
all you gotta do is tape it up so that JB Weld cures and you're set. The tailpipe was touching the bumper, so every time you would start it, there would be this rattle. But with a little persuasion from my hammer, that was gone. So now it's time to move the car out and finish the paintwork. In hindsight, it would have been a whole lot easier to just spray this hood with some clear coat. But for the sake of the video and to satisfy my curiosity, I kept pushing through, even though this stuff was really hard to get off. probably should have wet sanded this hood it would have made the process of buffing it a whole lot easier but with some time and some hard work I got this thing cleaned up got left is this top area and then the trunk which I'm actually gonna spray with clear coat notice I'm folding these shop towels instead of just masking normally. That's going to prevent hard tape lines in this clear coat. So there was a lot of work done to this car over the course of about three days. But if I were to film everything, this video would probably be 30 minutes or longer. But I can't end a detail video without at least one extraction shot. And man, this floor was completely caked with dirt because somebody left the window open. Y'all waited long enough. It's time for some before and after. Check this out guys, once the paint gets wet, you can barely even see the clear coat issue. This Accord was a lot of work, but for 240 bucks, I can't complain. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, drop a like and subscribe for more cheap car restorations and detail videos. As for the Accord, she's off to greener pastures.